invasion was every freighter, luxury liner, transport we could lay our hands on. Invasion was the Navy and Coastal Command aircraft fighting their unending war with a Nazi submarine fleet over all the sea and air highways to Britain. Invasion was the Navy winning that war and making safe landfall with iron treasure from America and the British Commonwealth. The smoky docks against which the Nazis had vainly sacrificed the cream of the Luftwaffe rumbled with the weight of British and American arms and equipment. GIs and lance corporals and grizzled civilian longshoremen worked the cranes and hooks that swung the martial wealth of the free world onto the soil of Britain. Here was Montana's copper, Australia's wheat, Pennsylvania's steel, Texas cattle, the nimble fingers of the women in the aircraft factories of California, the sweat and muscle of the Canadian mines. Eve of Battle is an indirect compliment to the role played by Southampton during the build-up to D-Day and is featured in the film. A reference to the smoking docks against which the Germans vainly sacrificed the cream of the Luftwaffe shows Southampton Western docks burning in the distance and cites the bombing of 1939-40 when the cold storage warehouse was hit. The fire burned for a week and could be seen as far away as Cherbourg. At the time, the raid was featured in the German magazine Der Adler, the Eagle. The docks were closed for two years to non-essential traffic, and the film goes on to name-check the Navy winning the war at sea to make safe landfall with iron treasure to keep the Lend-Lease coming. On the 6th of February 1942, the docks manager noted this afternoon saw the arrival of the first two Lend-Lease cargoes. On the 17th of April, he went on, the discharge or unloading of ocean-going cargoes of Lend-Lease and other material continues to make good progress gently. And a little under a month later, the docks were virtually working to full capacity. As a newsreel will probably be seen in the US, the narrator is careful to give credit to GIs as well as Lance Corporals and stevedores become longshoremen, the film of a woman driving a forklift truck alongside the quayside outside warehouses 101 to 106 on the western docks. A locomotive, the Lero Loco, and a P-47 Thunderbolt, the type seen at Beauty Airfield on D-Day, are also unloaded. The final scenes of the film are also exclusively filmed in Southampton, with South Western Hotel HMS Shrapnel in the background. There are clips of the town, quay and outer dock, as well as an LCT landing craft tank unloaded from a ship alongside the Western docks. The film is a fitting reminder of the words on the plaque on Dock Gate 8 presented by the US Army. In proud and glorious memory of the men and women of the forces of the United Nations who sailed from this port during the great war against aggression to secure the freedom of mankind. In the coves and harbours of Britain, the ships that were to carry the army to Europe were collected. All the craft to land men and tanks, men and guns, men and ammunition, men and food, wire, jeeps, medicine, all the craft to institute and carry on an invasion.